I guess what brought me to it was quite simple. I, I couldn't really help my patients. So I think, and I'm very grateful for this, that the major advances are the confirmation that sexual response is very complex and, and very variable in both men and women. They feel empowered, they feel not deficient, they're not a walking sexual disorder. Um, they're, they still like things to be different, they'd like to be more responsive maybe, they'd like to occasionally be kind of ready in the moment. So I said, well, maybe that might be a major motivation sometimes. And she said, and he was looking devastated. <laughs> and I found that really sad, culture, etc. So it, that doesn't work. And so I think our job, when we hear, or we think we're hearing personal distress, is to make sure it really is personal. It's not a personal distress because of interpersonal distress. Um, but then only later is that second pass partner saying, oh, don't stop. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the sexual sensations per se, um, in addition to wanting to be emotionally close. Especially um, midlife women who say, I don't feel much genitally anymore, but that comes back, because that really can lessen with menopause. Um, and it's so, so helpful now um, for them and certainly for people who've not experienced an orgasm either ever or um, more than very occasionally, uh, whenever there's an opportunity or the possibility of an opportunity to be sexual. And so it does feel like it's innate. I think I learned to listen even, you know, more intently, um, more accepting of what I'm told. And I trust just a little more able to really feel what they feel as they describe it because you